Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mississippi State's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. And they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Kentucky. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Kentucky has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Morgan fields it at the one. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country, and you and I have been looking forward to this. Miranda's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Mississippi State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Second and 10. Ball on the 30. Zips it to the tight end, and down he goes around the 41-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. And he's got the junior, and they make the stop around the 49-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Tries to get around the corner. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He's at the 20. Tackle around the 13-yard line. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. That's a That'll make it second and four. He gets rid of this one. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. finally said to himself, you know what? I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. And he hits the PAT. So an eight play, 70 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. So the score now, seven nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick.
from his own goal line. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 27. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And he's taken down at the 42. at midfield makes it to the 44 there's a strike complete he's down so they get about four yards from play action I got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play Slings it. He's taken down at the 40. No gain on the play. That makes it third and seven. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Thompson gives the intention to see on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. Mason, he's got a chance to put the defense in great position. They can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Here he goes. Brought down at the 33. Mississippi State up seven points. He's at midfield. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it second and two. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Well, you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From the 25-yard line, third down. in the open. They'll bring him down to the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That brings up second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 12. Tackle made around the four-yard line. That makes his third and goal. This isn't much more than an extra point. Mississippi State is up by a touchdown. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Looks 
Brooks from the four. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Quick pass. He's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. And down he goes at about the 49. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. the stop at the 23. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 30. And we've reached the end of one. The Bulldogs with a 10-point lead. We're ready for more football here in quarter number two. You ain't doing nothing today. Mike 50, Mike 50. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The offense is in field goal range. They didn't get the first down there on third down, but they still have a chance to get some momentum here if they decide to get the three points. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he is drilled at the 38. That makes it second and two. Let's it fly. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Makes it out to about the 46. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle at the 47. That's a deep That makes it third and three. Four down, four down. Check right corner. Check right corner. Ready. 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 He's going to try and scramble. 
He gets sacked on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down where they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Makes it to the 31. He makes his way to about the 42. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Ready. There's a strike complete. He's pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. get it great stop this defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher this punt if he gets it where he wants it can really change the field position of this football game person you really feel it Kurt. it's a different completely different feel when you watch him in person and it has a lot to do with the intangibles that he brings to the table I mean there's examples here in his first half where he's been able to help his team not just being able to throw the football or make good decisions but just helping guys get back into the huddle kind of patting guys on the back trying to get this offense to believe in themselves and almost just willing this team to a victory so far he's done all those things from their own 21-yard line. Second down. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Gets to about the 44-yard line. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Check nine, check nine. Dells! Cross is left. Intercepted. Brad, I'm going 
going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Alexander gains four yards on that reception. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that could really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Feeney is the putter. at the 29. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And they got him for a loss. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 25. We've played a half of football here. The Bulldogs with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look. You know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but yeah. they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him, you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let him throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Brooks from the seven. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Mississippi State's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative. So predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's taken down at the 39. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. And they hit him. In 
in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. Third down. Larry, Larry. Gets it out. He's met immediately. They lose four there. So that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And he's taken down at the 43. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Out to his receiver, and he's tackled around the 45 yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way, he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it 33. guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Pruitt will be the return man. Didn't get all of that one. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he can't get away from the pressure. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. They'll line up with five wide receivers. <laughs> Steps out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Four yards gain. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. They'll bring him down around the 41 yard line. Mason to punt. Heading for the corner. Tackle made at the 39 yard line. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. He's at midfield. Tackle made at the 46. That's a team of 15 on the ball. First down. McLean picks up about four yards with a catch. That'll bring up fourth and 
He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop at the 28-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Caught open field, and down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Get to that quickly. And they push him out at about the 39-yard line. to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Sims has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Bulldogs fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. This is a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponent to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. Has some daylight. Tackle at the 38. So at the end of three, the Bulldogs lead 10-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mississippi State is up a field goal. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. Mike 40, Mike 40. He's tackled at the 40. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he shoved out of bounds at around the 48-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. 
First down. down. You'll get the call again. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. up the middle and stuffed. Good penetration by the defense. That's a loss of one on the option. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mississippi State is up by three. The punt goes out of bounds of the four yard line. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time and a defensive bat. Well, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they could even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He wants it all. It's second down. They've got their backs against the wall. And they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That brings up third and twelve. Well, the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. Morgan is back deep to return. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Kentucky will take their first time out of the half from the 34-yard line. Second down. Again with a carry. Runs it right. Nice pickup. The Wildcats use their second timeout. Let's it go. The Wildcats using their third and last timeout. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. 
Touchdown, Bulldogs. Miranda's ability to tuck the ball and run makes him so dangerous, and he just showed us what. Are you kidding me? Are you talking about a huge touchdown? Quarterback takes off to run the football with a game on the line late like this, and he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. That's one of the more exciting plays that we've seen all year in college football. And he adds the extra point. Kearney has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23. The Mississippi State's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points on. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws it to the outside. And he couldn't hang on to it. Incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Just over a minute left. That's a great tackle. The 17-yard line. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Flings it. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Wants to go long and does. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. When the first down marker is that far away, Someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 17-7, Mississippi State. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? I thought this would have been a little closer than the scoreboard indicates. Maybe that says something about how good a game they play. Mississippi State could have just as easily found themselves on the other end of this score. That's how even these two teams were coming in. But they played the better game today and should be very happy about the win. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.